killing them in the UK Everybody gonna say UK Reluctantly, cause most of this press don't fuck with me The still one said, tell me cool down Hello you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ari. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing you guys my soft glam makeup routine. And soft glam makeup is perfect for like a date night, a night out, or even everyday makeup if you're extra like me. So I really hope you guys enjoy today's video and stay tuned for the next one. Okay guys, so I'm starting off with pre moisturized skin as well as my eyebrows already done. I'm going to start off with my base. And the first product I'm going to use is the Born This Way Matte Foundation in the shade Ganache. And I'm just going to apply it all over my face not a whole lot and then i'm gonna go in with this like dense angled brush and i'm just gonna blend it all out and of course spraying my brush with some setting spray before i blend I'm gonna go in with this second foundation. This is the Morphe F540 Matte. And I'm just gonna apply it high with concealer. I'm just gonna add a little bit under my eye and some at the very tail of my eye. Again, in the right corner and at the end of my eye. And as well, I'm gonna add some on my chin in a triangle shape and above my lip as well. And this little dot on my forehead. Next up, I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna start blending all of this out. I'm just gonna blend it all out, starting at my chin and just moving it all around my chin and blending above my lip as well. After I blended below my chin and above my lip, I'm just gonna start blending the outer corner of my eye. And I'm gonna make sure that when I'm blending it, I'm blending it outward, not inward, to give me like a lifted effect. Now I'm just gonna blend the outer foundation on the other side of my face. And then of course, I'm just gonna blend the foundation right on my forehead. Okay, well, this is already looking a little bit crazy, but now I'm just gonna go in with that same first brush that I used, and I'm just gonna blend it out even more to make it a little bit more seamless, cause right now, I look like a tan ghost. Now that that's all set, I'm gonna go in with the same exact product, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more. This time, I'm gonna be mixing it with another concealer. So again, I'm just gonna add a little bit on my chin, some on the top of my lip, and this time, I'm only gonna add it right under my eye. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Almond, and I'm just gonna add some on my chin, right on the sides of my lip, and then I'm gonna add some in the inner corner of my eye as well as the outer corner of my eye, making sure to add it at an angle always so it can lift your face up so we look youthful. And again, adding it in the inner corner of my eye and at an angle. Next up, you guys, I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend that all out once again. Blend that all out around my chin and above my lip. And then again, I'm gonna start by blending the outer corners of my eye. You wanna make sure you do this step perfectly because this little concealer right here will make or break your soft glam. You wanna make sure you blend the most outer concealer first, and then you wanna blend this concealer second. And then lastly, you're gonna wanna blend your inner concealer. And as always, you're gonna wanna blend outwards. Okay guys, next up my contour, I'm going to be using the Morphe palette. And I'm going to be using this dark like cocoa brown shade to contour. So of course, I'm just gonna contour my cheekbones very, very lightly. I'm bringing it all the way down to my chin. I'm just gonna repeat on the other side. In addition, you guys, I'm just gonna contour my forehead just a tad bit, only adding it to the sides to add some dimension to my face. 
next up using that same dark brown shade i'm just going to contour my nose very slightly contouring at the bottom and then making a circular shape on the ball of my nose and then i'm just creating a nose bridge and connecting it to my eyebrow next up you guys i'm going to be going in with my setting powder and i'm just going to be using this like flat sponge and just pressing it into my chin don't worry about that white cast once i get my brush it's all gonna go away and also adding it above my lip and really essentially just adding it to anywhere i put that concealer earlier so adding it under my eye and my forehead as well after i press all that powder in, i'm just gonna go in with my big fluffy brush and i'm just gonna brush off all the excess powder to bring away that white cast in my face so now that that's all said i'm just gonna go on with some bronzer for my bronzer y'all i used some of this like purplish eyeshadow it gives me the contrast that i need but also it's dark enough to be seen on my skin i'm just gonna add some right above my contour just to add some more dimension to my face and as well as my forehead of course y'all it looks crazy but trust it's gonna come together next up i'm going to be doing my blush i'm using the nika k red lipstick this is in the shade zania i'm just gonna go ahead and add some on my cheek just a little bit and on the sides of my chin and a little bit on my forehead and then i'm just gonna blend with this blush brush blush brush blush brush i'm gonna blend with this blush brush whatever y'all know what i'm talking about okay guys so now that my blush is all blended i'm just gonna go in with a little bit more bronzer and i'm just gonna add some to my eyelid just to give me some slight color not too much but some to the point where it's like noticeable next up you guys i'm just gonna add some black under eyeliner on the waterline of my eye just to make my eyes pop a little bit okay i love how this is turning out i'm about to tell you the trick on how to make your under eye pop especially with black under eyeliner so what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to take some of your setting powder and you're gonna want to add some to a very edge of your eye just dab it in i want to make sure that when you're adding your setting powder you're not putting it exactly right where your under eyeliner is instead you just want to go slightly below that just do that on the other side as well and then you're just going to want to take your brush and then brush off the excess Last but not least, you guys are going to be my lip combo. First off, I'm just gonna slightly overline my lips with some black lip liner. Afterwards, I'm gonna go in with the Bold Lip Liner by NK Makeup in the shade Plum. And I'm just gonna line over that exactly as I did before. Next year, I'm going to be going in with the Clinique Lip Gloss in the shade Tender Heart. I'm just going to add a little bit to my bottom lip and then just rub it in. And also, I'm going to go in with the MAC Lip Gloss in the shade Bells and Bows. And then last but not least, I'm going to be going in the Power Power Gloss Lip Plumping Lip Gloss and I'm just gonna apply a little bit and let me tell y'all, y'all need to invest in lip plumper lip glosses because they just look so much better than your regular lip glosses like hello 
So now that my face is all set, I'm gonna put on my lashes and I'll be back with the final. This is the final result. And honestly, y'all get into this makeup. This is actually like a new makeup technique that I learned like last week. When I did this, I was like, I'm making a YouTube video. I gotta teach my besties how to get their base beat like this because get into the beat. But I really, really love how this turned out, you guys. I ate with this. I ate with this. That's it. That's all. You can you can, you can exit the video now. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time.